Hey guys, uh, so here we are for part four of this little uh, webinar series or whatever you may call it. Um, this is going to be another short one. It's not going to be as formal as the other ones because I want to show you guys a couple cool things. So, um, so again, we're uh, intro to algo trading. Uh, we're part four, good on paper versus real life, an example. So this is one thing that I see a lot. I see a lot of people sharing strategies and doing types of things that in theory, um, they work great. They've got great equity curves. Uh, sorry, taking a drink. Um, so they got great equity curves. They got great uh, uh, risk reward, great profitability, great everything. But I know in real life that they would never work. And then I try to tell them this, and quite often they get kind of upset. So what we're going to do is we're going to go quickly and just show... Uh, an example of something that looks amazing, but in real life, not so much. And then we're gonna—I'm gonna give you a couple of examples of things that uh, will do that sometimes, um, and ways you can avoid them. So if we take a look at this equity curve from a a back test here, it looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? Looks absolutely amazing, right? You know, a nice smooth equity curve. Um, right, it's uh, trading a thousand shares for the last quarter. You're up three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Right, what a great-looking strategy. Um, you know, even if we say, okay, you're gonna, sp you're gonna get what twenty-five cents slippage. Twenty-five cents slippage, a quarter on each side. You're still gonna make, you're still gonna make money. Um. This is an example of a strategy that is good on paper, but not good in real life. And let me show you why uh, here. And this is another beauty of trade ideas that goes above and beyond just a simple back tester. Um, we're going to bring up a chart. And let's just scroll through some of the symbols that this would have traded today and the, the prices that it, it would have tried to get you. Um, so here's WHG, and these are five-minute candles, right? And it's saying you would have got filled right here. But if we look at the volume, and the volume is going to show up down here, we're going to look at the volume on this five-minute candles. All it did in five minutes was uh, 100 shares, right? On this bar that actually is a bar, 400 shares. Right, so how are you going to get in and out of this security, right? Without even knowing the spreads on these, which would just be absurd, uh, how are you going to get in and out, right? This is this chart here, right? A, a theoretically a purchase did go off way down here at twenty dollars. So if you look at this strategy, we'll say, okay, you got in at twenty oh five, and you probably got out right at twenty seventy. So what a great trade, but there's just no way in. There's no way in, and there's no way back out. Um, right? This one's a little bit more active, but still, right? We're talking, you know, 2,000 shares on this. So, another example I see is I see people who have really great equity curves, and I don't have an example of this, but I see people that have really great equity curves on the strategy, but then when you go in, you look at them, they trade. Uh, all of those good trades happen on a single day. So that means that there was something happened in the market that fit perfectly with what they were trying to do. Um, so you really want to avoid this. And this is where I'm going to slam the table again and, and talk about future testing. right? You really want to go into these strategies and you want to say, okay, I've built the strategy, I've built it, you know, it has the equity curve, I've gone through the calendar, and I make sure that, you know, the trades are spread out, and there's just a couple trades a day, and, and they're happening pretty consistently, and, and, uh, and it's working well. And then you want a future test, right? You should watch these for a week. You should see, okay, what exactly is it trading? And you should watch them. You should go through. You can either use, there's a couple tools to do this. You can use the Think On Demand in Thinkorswim, and you can watch the security with the, the uh, level two and everything trade during this time, right? You can see, could you have gotten that price? Could you have gotten out that price? Um, you take a look and say, okay, well, look at the charts, right? Is this a tradable chart, 
right? Is this something that could be traded by a bot or otherwise, right? Um, so just don't completely just spend all your time in here and, and trying to build the perfect equity curve because it's it's irrelevant, right? What's relevant is what will happen in the real world. And what will happen in the real world is decided by um, actual trading, right? So, you know, this one could be totally solved just by slapping on a a volume filter. You know, you, you want a 100,000 100, shares plus during that day to trade, right? Um, so, again, it's kind of a common sense thing, but but you'd be surprised, you know, um, how much I see people sharing strategies that just would not work in real life. So do not fall into that trap. Uh, a good way to avoid it, again, is a good backtesting software, something like Trade Ideas. So again, there'll be a link in the description for a really good deal. Um, and then the beauty, again, is with Trade Ideas, this little uh, blue arrow here I can click. So even if I'm trying to run a robot while I'm at work, and I want to then forward test it, but I can't watch the the uh, security trade. Um, I can come home and I can click on and I can see where this would have entered me, right? And I can see what kind of symbols it would have traded. Um, so again, just a bit of common sense. Get a good software, one that you can easily kind of track what would actually have happened, the volume on each trade. You know, are the trades spread out, not all under a specific market circumstance, and then go from there. So, uh, again, comment on these videos, uh, give, give me ideas of what you want to see, and uh, I'll try to figure out one more for this week and, and uh, some more for next. I think soon we're going to delve into building a strategy, and that might be something I do live in front of you guys. So, again, let me know, and check out the links in the descriptions for some good deals. See you guys later.